it going? It's Joe, aka Barbicoa, and today I wanted to do a little something different on my channel. Usually I'm all about unboxings, fashions, or dolls, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my favorite face mold, Steffi. I love her so much. Um, <laughs> a couple months ago, I did an Instagram live with a good friend and fellow collector from Luxembourg, Calvin the Scorpion. So if you're not following him on Instagram, please do so. I'll leave his handle in the description. And we decided to count down our top 10 Steffi face molds. And as someone that loves the Steffi face mold, because it's absolutely my favorite face mold, it was kind of hard to pick my top 10. And I even said, you know, if you ask me today, my top 10 are XYZ, but if you ask me a week from now, it's probably gonna change. So I figured, why not uh, share some of my, my current top 10s with you on my YouTube channel. So before I get into my favorite top 10s, I figured I'd kind of talk about some of my honorable mentions. So first we have All-American Teresa from 1990. Here she is. She's beautiful. She's got like reddish hair, green eyes. This isn't her original outfit, but I figured this is something close enough to what that line would have worn back in the day. And she's gorgeous, love her. She's kind of got cool, uh, two textured hair. She's got a crimp and just regular curls. So I love her, I love her a lot. But she's, she's up there for me, but not in my top 10. Next is my first Barbie, again from, oh, from 1991, so a year later. And this actually was a ballerina, and uh, she came with the hard legs. So these were uh, meant for uh, little kids to play with them because they're easier to dress. And uh, I redressed her in this fall fashion. And she's beautiful, I love her face. Check it out, she's so cute. And then my next honorable mention is Summit Barbie, the Hispanic version, and again, Sometimes I'm not a huge fan of keeping my dolls in the original outfit, so I actually put her in, this is a fashion from in 88 when they redid the Superstar line. They released a line of fashions as well. And I just fell in love with this fashion. Plus she has this funky hair where she's got this like poof that's super short and the rest is long. So I just kind of put her in this to kind of help out with that. But what do you guys think? Isn't she, she's another knockout. And you know, I love my Steffi face mold, what can I say? <laughs> so yeah, those are my honorable mentions, but now let's get into my top 10. Ask me a week from now, it's gonna change. Ask me a year from now, it's gonna change. Ask me tomorrow, it might change. But currently my number 10 Steffi is from the Dolls of the World line, Spanish Barbie from, sorry, I have notes here, from 1991. Here she is. And again, I redressed her. She's wearing one of the classic fashions. You can see she's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Black hair, dark brown eyes, red lip. She's got a little more of a tan to her. And uh, I actually did an unboxing of this fashion so you can see it in my on my channel. But uh, she's, I love her. She's freaking gorgeous. All right, let's move on to number nine. Number nine, again, she's redressed. Um, is a heart family kiss and cuddle African-American mom. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at her. Uh, I had to rebody her because unfortunately when I got her, when I was washing her hair and brushing it, her neck cracked off. So I put her on a shiny body. And this is a, I believe it's a Best Buy fashion from the early 80s. Just some yellow pumps. And these are actually just some earrings, some kids earrings I think I picked up at Claire's or to swap. They were from Claire's, but I got them in a swap meet. So. Yeah, it's just another example of how I like to personalize my dolls. And, but yeah, she's beautiful. And if you guys don't know, the Hart family mom, the mom, the Caucasian mom has the jazzy face mold. Well, it's also the, the face mold that Jazzy also used, but the, the African-American version used the Steffi face mold. So I have two in my collection. I don't know how many there are um, in total, but there's a, I wanna say there's like four or five maybe, but she is stunning. So she's my number nine currently. And my number eight is All Stars Teresa. She's from 1989. She's 
She's wearing her original outfit. I don't have the bow that goes in her hair, nor her shoes, so I just put her in some red pumps for now. But again, she is beautiful, and I want to say there was four Teresas that used the Steffi mold. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But she's just gorgeous. Look at this fun late 80s hair. It's super like Taylor Dane, Stacey Q, you know, the crimps that were super popular in the late 80s. And uh, this jacket actually, when you take it off, it becomes her, like a duffel bag. So I thought that's really cool. But yeah, she is another stunner and another one of my faves in my collection. All right, let's continue with this little countdown. At number seven, I have Magic Curl Barbie. And if you saw an unboxing I did as well with Spanish Barbie, you might recognize her. She's wearing another classic fashion. And she's got her little poodle. She's gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the big curly hair on her. And just the makeup's super simple, but I don't know. There's just something about her that I love. I think she's so cool. All right, let's go on to number six. This one used to be up higher for me, but she's kind of come down a little bit. Um, not because I don't like her anymore. I love her, she's one of my absolute faves. She's actually probably one of my first Steffies in my collection. But uh, when I get up to the, the higher spots, you'll understand why I had to make room for somebody else. Uh, this is Peruvian Barbie from Dolls of the World collection. And she is from 1986. And she, again, gorgeous Steffi mold. I'm actually, I changed her outfit and she's actually wearing, I don't know what the exact name is, but it's like a roller skating Barbie. I just thought it would be fun to put her in this outfit. It's of the era-ish. So, again, she is beautiful, beautiful Steffi face mold. And I, like I've said in other videos, I love the Dolls of the World line. They're some of my favorite dolls just because they kind of played more with hair color, skin color, eye color, and just, oh, they're awesome. I wish they, I wish they still made them. Uh, let's go on to my number five, Steffi. This was again, one of the first ones I had in my collection and I have two of her because I love her so much. And she is from 1981. She is from the Dolls of the World line and this is India, or Indian Barbie. And she is, my God, she's stunning. Look at those huge eyes. They're practically like almost black and she's just so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And there's a couple of variations. I have the other one I had, it's this, uh, the same top, but it's like a different material. Like this is more like a metallic. The other one is more like a, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's more, it's like glittery, not as metallic, if that makes sense. But. She's my number five. She's, if you don't have her in your collection, you <laughs> she's gorgeous. Look at these fun little kitten heels. She's great. I love her, love her, love her. All right, so let's move on to number four. Number four is a classic Barbie, one of my all time favorites. This is the first black Barbie that was ever released with the name Barbie. Um, she is from 1980 and at her, she's so fun, she's gorgeous. Just like disco, just fucking everything. Excuse my French, but this is a channel for adults, so I'm gonna swear if I want to. And I just love her, this hair, it's so fun. This is a repro, um, I don't have the original, unfortunately, but I was lucky enough to get her on eBay. I don't know, maybe five years ago for a really, really, really good price. But she is beautiful and I absolutely love her. So, number three from, sorry, I'm looking at my notes, from 1990 is from my all time favorite Barbie line, which is the Benetton line. I freaking love this line. I think it's so cool. It was just so different, you know, because Barbie was like pink, pink, pink. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all love pink. Uh, but you know, after a while, I just kind of got like, mm. and I love the bright, like early '90s colors, and the fashions were like super cool. I love all the layering they did. So I don't have her with her original outfit, but this is an actual um, authentic Benetton fashion that came out for the line. And um, for a long, long time, she was my holy grail doll. But um, but you know that 
there's always a new Holy Grail. Now <laughs> once you get one, you know, all of a sudden she gets replaced by somebody else. But um, here she is. She is beautiful. Again, one of the, the few Teresos with the Steffi face mold. And um, at the time, I think maybe she's still the most I've ever paid for a new doll. I believe I paid 50 bucks for her. But um, I had to have her and I said, oh my God, 50 bucks, that's a steal. Because every time I would see her on eBay or just any, anywhere she was for sale online, it was at least a hundred bucks or more. So I didn't care if she was nude. I was like, I will get her an outfit. And I actually got this outfit on Facebook Marketplace. I got a, it was brand new in box. I can't pay like 15 bucks for it. It was just like, it was too good to pass up. So she is, ah, she's one of my prized possessions. I absolutely love her. She's so cool. And I have a couple other Benetton fashions, but this one, I don't know. I just really like this. It, it goes cool with like her makeup and her earrings. Her earrings match her shoes and her little like leg warmers and all the yellow throughout the outfit. That's my number three. All right, so number two is brand new to my list. She's brand new to my collection. Um, I've actually had her for a couple months, but I wasn't able to share her just yet because there was, it, it's a long story, but I won't get into that. I'll save that for another time. Um, I've been looking for her forever. And again, I wanna give a huge shout out to Calvin, who I mentioned earlier in this video who helped me make my Steffi dream come true and helped me bring this gal into my collection. She is now mine. She traveled very far. She's been around the world a little bit uh, before she came back to Chicago. Again, another long story, but I present to you one of the crown jewels in my collection. Probably, oh, you just saw her. Crown jewel in my collection. Ultra Hair Whitney, which if you are familiar with her, this is part of what was in the US known as the Totally Hairline, but in Europe it was Ultra Hair. And in the US we got Barbie blonde version, brunette version, African American version. We got Ken, and I believe we also got Skipper and Courtney. They were like Toys R Us exclusive. But in Europe, they got Whitney with a Steffi face mold and she is you can find her, but she goes for so much money, oh my god. But I have a very generous friend that helped me out and got me one, and she is just stunning. Check out this awesome crimp hair. So a uh, fellow collector did the hair for me, so thank you. And uh, I just love her. She's so freaking cool. Uh, I need to get a new dress because this one's a little faded, but I was lucky enough. She had her earrings. I bought a ring. I bought a, uh, a used dance club Barbie because she has the same jewelry. So I was able to take the ring from her, got it for really cheap. And then I actually had the shoes already. I don't know if they're this turquoise or if they're bluer, but for me it works. So this is number two, Ultra Hair Whitney. Welcome to the Barbie Claw world. The Barbie Claw family. All right, so my number one Steffi of all time has not changed because this is still my number one Barbie of all time. And that is Hispanic Barbie from 1980. This was the first time that, I believe this is the first time that there was ever even a Hispanic or Latina character in the Barbie. Well, not character, but you know, Barbie ever. You know, I think prior to that we just had Barbie. She was either blonde or brunette, and 1980 saw the release again, which you just saw, uh, Black Barbie. There was also the first Asian Barbie, which is part of the Dolls of the World line. Um, I don't know if it was the same year, but um, her original name was Oriental Barbie, which we all know is super on PC, but um, you know, it was a different time, but now she would probably just be referred to as Asian Barbie. But uh, again, so it was kind of the first time we were seeing Barbies with the name Barbie, but being of different ethnicities, which I thought was super cool. But again, here she is. I just, I, I adore her. She's beautiful, the black hair, the makeup. And I usually don't keep a lot of my dolls in their original outfits. I actually have two of her, because she's my favorite. I'll probably, you know, if I ever, if I ever come across her for a great price, I, I try to, you know, scoop her up. But she is, I just love her. She's so beautiful. 
don't know. Let me know. Who's your favorite Steffi? Is there one I missed? Is there one? How did you not put her in your top 10 list? But again, it's subjective. It's different for everyone. So I totally get that. And again, I thought this would just be something fun to share with you guys as a fellow collector. And I think I will go ahead and count down some of my other face molds. Um, something if you don't know about me, uh, my collection is, it's basically mostly 80s and 90s dolls, but I really like to focus on face molds. I don't know if you can see behind me, but uh, like I have superstars, there's Christy face molds, there's some Teresa, there's Steffi. But yeah, I, I'm really into face molds, so I'd love to share with you my top 10 Christy face molds, my top 10 Kira face molds, my top 10 Diva slash Midge face molds, uh, Superstar, you know, Teen Skipper, you know, sky's the limit. So thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment. You can follow me on Instagram at Barbicoa. You can also like me on Facebook, as, again, as Barbicoa. So I wanna thank you all for sticking around and counting down my top 10 Steffi face molds. And again, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite is of the ones I've shown, or if you have another one that you love. Let me know, I'd love to hear about it. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you again in another video. Bye.